today without any props. So I know I usually use a ball, but I've had some people really, <laughs> that is not mine. Okay, car alarm's going off. Um, anyway, so I've had some people request some more videos without any props. Even though when you do the ball classes, you can perfectly do them well without any sort of prop. So I'm Megan, I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a Pilates instructor, so we're gonna get started. All right. So I'd like you to start out on your mat. We're going to be in a kneeling position to start. And your weight is pretty far forward over your knees. So if you're shifted backwards, you're not really going to get as much out of it. You want your weight so far forward that it feels like you might tip forward. So that helps to turn on your core, your glutes. And you're going to begin just reaching your arms forward and pressing them back behind you. So make sure that your bottom isn't sticking out back behind you. So you're one straight line from your head to your knees. Checking yourself, see if you're sitting back towards your heels. Good. Now you are going to hinge at the hips, sit the hips back towards the heels, and then press yourself up. So inhale, reaching forward, and exhale, press up, squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward, and exhale. more times here and exhale and one more time now you're going to stay in this hinge position I want you to reach your right arm back behind you and switch sides and switch make sure you're not pushing your ribs forward towards the floor you're drawing them in and up into your body and switch and hold switch and hold and now pause and hold in this position. You're going to begin pulsing the arms up, back behind you. So one arm is reaching forward, the other one is reaching back, lifting from the triceps of the back arm, and swap arms, and begin pulsing the arms, drawing up through your center, relax your feet. Make sure you're breathing. Good, and now reach both arms back behind you. Shift your weight back a little bit more, engage your glutes, and you're going to rotate your arms overhead, and then rotate your arms back behind you. So let's have actually your palms face the floor the whole time. Arms reach overhead. And then arms reach back behind you, pinkies or towards your body. Good. And reach back one more time each way. And forward, good. Lift up onto the knees. Do a few arm circles here. And now we're going to work a little bit on your balance. So what I'd like you to do, I know it's weird doing balance in a kneeling position, but you're going to shift your weight into your right knee, or sorry, your left knee, and begin hovering the left one up. Good, and now go ahead and shift over into the right side, and hover up your left side. And now shift back over onto the left, and as smoothly as you can, as slowly as you can, I want you to circle that leg forward and you're going to place it down onto the mat and now you're going to circle that leg around back behind you and you're going to land onto your hands eventually so try not to crash you want to mo move with as much control as you can shifting your weight forward try to get your hands to land at the same time extend through the leg and now you're going to bend the knee come back up with control 
and you're going to circle the legs around forward as slowly as you can. This is total body control here. And circle the leg. You're going to lift it up. It's still going to be to the front. Circle, woo, circle it to the side. And then bring it back behind you. And try to land on your hands ah, at the same time, extending through the leg. <laughs> Super graceful. And now just slide that knee in. Bring yourself upright. And now we're going to do the other side. So you're going to shift into that right knee. Pick up the left. And then slowly circle it around out in front. It doesn't touch the ground ideally until you have that leg out in front of you. Place it down and lift it back up. We'll slowly circle it around behind you. It's harder if you have your hands on your hips, honestly. And then try and land your hands at the same time. Extend through the leg and bend the knee. Gently lift off the hands. The leg is still out the, to the back as you try and upright yourself over your supporting knee. Circle it around. Good. And try and gently step it out in front of you. And then again, lift it off the mat. It's still up to the front. And then circle it around. Back behind you. Try to hinge at the hips. Oh boy, that was a bad one. Extend the leg. Actually, there's no bad ones. You just got to try it. Nice job. So now I want your knees down onto the mat. And you're going to shift your weight pretty far forward over your hands in this position. And you're going to reach your right arm back behind you. And lower it down. And left arm reaches back behind you. You're still really shifted forward over your supporting arm. This is how you feel the core turn on. A little bit more so than if you're shifted back over your knees and heels. Good. One more time each way. And lower down. And reach back behind you and lower down. So the weight is still shifted forward over the hands. And I want you to keep yourself shifted forward. You're going to lower down onto your elbows. Okay, you're going to have to shift back a little bit. <laughs> Let's bring the hands out a little bit further forward, shifting forward, and then press up at the same time. So you're going to have to play around with the distance from your knees. Your hands are from your knees. So lower yourself down. Try to lower at the same time. Your weight is shifted forward over the hands. And then lift yourself up without snaking the body. Pressing up at the same time. And you're going to lower down, forward. Shift that weight forward. Elbows land at the same time. And then press up as fast as you can. At the same time, we're going to do one more time. This does not feel awesome. Lowering down at the same time. Shifting forward and lifting up at the same time. Good. Upright your spine. Do a few circles with the arms. How's everybody doing? Okay, and now I want you to tuck your toes under. Connect your heels. And you're going to reach your arms out forward ahead of you. You're going to pull yourself forward into a full plank position and then shift your weight back, pushing with the arms, pulling forward, and then hinge at the hips to shift yourself back. Good. Two more times, pulling forward and pushing down. And one more time. And now you're going to push back, hold in that hover position. You're going to close the knees together and open them out. Knees close together and open out just two more times, drawing in through your center. And last time, good, gently lower the knees. And now you're going to swing your legs around so that you're sitting on your bottom. 
legs are slightly away from your bottom, arms are reaching forward, and then roll yourself the whole way down onto the mat with control. And then inhale, lift the head and shoulders. Exhale, rolling back up. Good, now you're going to lower yourself down onto your elbows and your feet are going to be connected. Knees are separated. You're lifting up out of those arms. You're going to march your right leg up and lower down. And left leg marches. Good. So make sure you're not sinking into your elbows. You're staying lifted up. Your knee is turned out to the side. And exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Drawing back through your center. Good. And now you're going to march your right leg up. Left leg up to meet it. And you're going to close the knees together and open them apart. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Drawing back more through your center. Cinching through the waist. Good. Two more times. And now land in that external rotation of the legs. You're going to tap your right foot away from you and then bring it back up. And left leg taps. And back up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale lift. One more time each way. Nice job. And close the knees into parallel position. You're going to rotate your knees over to the right. And then exhale, drag them through center. Inhale, rotate left. And exhale, draw back through your center to bring the knees to center. Lift up out of the shoulders. And back in. And inhale. And exhale. Good. Now you're going to rotate to the right and stay to the right. Inhale, extend the legs straight. And exhale, bend. Lower the legs away from you. And then bring them back in. So you're still rotated right. Legs extend. Then they bend. Lower them away. Inhale. And exhale up. And one more time. And bend. Lower down. And back up. Pass through center, rotate to the left, and straighten the legs out. Allow them to bend and lower them away and back up. So you're only lowering those legs a couple of inches away from you. You don't want to go so far that you lose control of your abdominals and the movement goes into your back. You want to stay connected in the front of the body. One more time. And lower, lift, good, come through center, bring yourself upright, extend the legs, and you're going to lower the whole way down onto the mat, arms continue overhead, reach long, your fingers long, your toes long, away from your fingers, circle the arms to the side and roll yourself back up. Good, and then roll down. We're going to stay down for a little bit. Bring your feet in close to you. I want you to connect your heels, separate your toes just slightly so you're, you have like baby sized pizza wedge in between your feet and your heels are connected. Slightly lift, lifted. <laughs> okay, open your arms out to the sides, east and west, and you're going to roll up through the hips with control. Inhale at the top, and exhale, slowly lower down, piece by piece. Good, and exhale, rolling back up. Inhale at the top, and exhale, slowly back down. And again, rolling back up. Use your breath. Stay lifted at the top. We're going to fold up the elbows and reach your fingertips up to the ceiling. Pull the elbows wide away from each other. And reach the fingertips up. 
and lower back down. So heels are still slightly lifted. They're squeezing together. And hips are fully extended towards the ceiling. And reach up just two more times. And this time, as the fingers reach up, you're going to hinge halfway down with the hips. Elbows pull wide as the hips lift. And lower halfway. Squeeze those heels as you press up. Lower halfway. And squeeze the lift. Two more times. And now keep the arms lifted. Keep the hips lifted. You're going to squeeze the knees together. And then separate them out. Make sure your shoulders aren't rolling forward. Just caught myself doing that. Relax through your neck. Relax through your jaw. Good. Squeeze those knees in. Press them in. And open two more times. And open and one more time. Squeeze. And open arms. Continue overhead and slowly roll your spine down onto the mat. Good job. Okay, now you're going to straighten your left leg flat. Arms are going to go behind the head, holding your head with your hands. Elbows are slightly lifted. You're going to curl your head and shoulders up and lower down and curl up and lower two more times and lower and one more time and lower now this time as you curl yourself up you're going to extend your right leg straight up towards the ceiling exhale and lower back down and exhale extend Inhale, lower. Exhale, extend. Make sure you're not scrunching through the right side of your waist. Keep it long. And lower down just one more time. And now you're going to bend that right knee to a tabletop position. I want you to rotate your left shoulder towards your right knee. And center. And now right shoulder rotates to right knee and center. So you're not actually like side crunching up. You're just spiraling around your spine, rotating right elbow towards the right knee and rotate left elbow. Good. One more time each way. And pause and hold. So once your left shoulder is rotated towards your right knee, you're going to connect your foot to your leg. And now you're going to lift up the legs towards your elbow and lower down. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now you're going to rotate the other way. And exhale, lift the legs. And lower. Oh my. And exhale, lift. And lower one more time. And lower. Now you're going to roll yourself onto your left side. So you're rotated away from the right knee. Roll yourself with control onto your left side. So you're balancing here on your elbow. And I want you to lift your legs up and lower down. So you're using your right oblique drawing back through your center and lift and lower one more time lifting up keep it lifted and you're going to slowly roll onto your back with control staying lifted upper body lower body we're going to just roll three times each way so roll onto your side and try and stay lifted and roll onto your back try to roll everything together so you're not snaking and staying mentally rolling. Try to get everything to get to the side at the same time. And then roll onto your back. Oh boy. Good, just one more time and roll onto your side. And open, whoa. And roll onto your back. Whew. 
leg, everything flat, arms continue overhead, and roll yourself up, reaching forward over the leg, and roll yourself back down. Good, so now you're going to bend your left knee, foot is flat to begin, arms circle back behind your head, and you're going to curl yourself up, and lower down. So make sure you're not scrunching, you're trying to find length through the crown of the head as you lift yourself up. Try not to curl in on yourself. And one more time with this. And lower down. And now as you curl up, you're going to extend your left leg up. Inhale, lower. Extend and reach. Inhale, lower. Extend. And lower. Two more times. Make sure your hips aren't rocking side to side. Now stay lifted, fold the leg into tabletop and rotate opposite shoulder towards knee and center and rotate and center, rotate, center, try to keep both shoulder blades lifted off the mat and center. Whew. Good. Now stay rotated opposite shoulder to knee. You're going to next going to connect your foot to your leg and lift the lower body up, lower down. Exhale and lower, exhale and lower one more time and lower now rotate the same shoulder towards the knee. Exhale lift and lower, exhale lift and lower. One more time, now stay lifted. You're going to roll onto your right side and lift the legs up and lower down. And lift and lower using the left oblique to lift, pulling back through your center. Got a cramp. <laughs> Good, keep the legs lifted, roll onto your back. Try to roll everything at the same time, keeping head and shoulders lifted. And now roll onto the side. Whew. Roll onto the back. Roll onto the side. Try not to use momentum, use control. Oy. And roll onto the back. Lay everything flat. Arms reach long and roll yourself up with control. Inhale to lift head and shoulders. Exhale. Reach up and over the legs. Allow yourself to just fold over the legs here. Nice job. Okay, so we're going to swing around onto our knees and onto our elbows. And I want you to bring your right foot up towards the ceiling. Knee is bent. Try to keep the knee at the same height. You're going to extend that leg long and then pull your heel in towards your bottom. Extend it long. Try not to let the knee drop down as you pull the heel in. And reach it long. And pull it back in. Go ahead and flex your foot and you're going to do little pulses up towards the ceiling. Lift up out of the shoulders and elbows. Strong flex of the foot. and now relax the foot. You're going to tap the knee down and press back up. Tap it without curling the spine. Your tailbone is extending long. Tap it down. Exhale, lift. One more time. Good. Now you're going to rotate the knee out to the side and squeeze it back in the midline. So you're rotating around the same axis. Not allowing the thigh and knee to drop down. And then one more time. Lifting up, or sorry, squeezing in. You're going to straighten out your right arm and open the hips up. You're going to pull your knee towards your elbow and then press it back behind you. So the elbow, or sorry, the knee pulls in. And then you're just pressing slightly behind you without arching the spine. You're staying connected in the front of the body. 
good. And now you're going to add in a little spinal rotation. So the knee's going to draw in, you're going to look at it. Knee draws back, elbow bends, and you're going to look over your left shoulder. So knee pulls forward, straighten the elbow, look at the knee. Knee goes back, elbow bends, look over your left shoulder. So this should feel kind of nice. And then one more time each way. And then, nice job. Go ahead and square yourself to the mat. You're going to straighten your left leg back behind you and hover the right knee. And tap it down. And exhale, lift. Tap it down. And you're drawing in so much with your center that the knee lifts. Now you're going to rotate that knee and foot up towards the ceiling so you're in a plank position and then pull the knee forward. Hips stay the same level. You're just rotating the foot up and drawing the knee in. One more time each way. Last time. Nice job. Gently lower down. And you're going to do the other side. I'm going to flip around. Drop down onto your elbows. And you're going to lift your left leg up to hip height. Try not to drop it down as you extend the leg straight. And then fold the heel in towards the glute. Keep it lifted. Extend the leg straight. And fold it in. Lift up out of the elbows and the shoulders. Lifting up and back in. Last time. Good. Now flex strong through the heel. Make sure the knee is pointing down, little pulses up towards the ceiling without extending through the lower back. Draw in more through your center. Good. And now relax the foot. You're going to tap the knee down and exhale, lift. Tap the knee down and lift up. Good. Don't sink into the shoulders. Now keep the knee lifted. You're going to rotate it out to the side and squeeze it into midline. Rotate it out and squeeze it back in. Rotate out. And back in two more times. One more time. And back in. Now straighten out your left arm. Rotate yourself so that you're facing me. Open your hips up. You're going to pull your knee in towards your elbow. Press it slightly back behind you. Pull the knee forward. And press it slightly back. Good. up out of the bottom shoulder, pulling in through your center. Now you're going to add in the rotation. So look at the knee as the leg travels forward, bend the elbow and look over your right shoulder as the leg travels back. So bring it forward and press it back and forward, press it back, bend the elbow. Two more times. Whew. You guys are doing great. And last time. Good. Bring the knee in. Lift up onto your hand. And you're going to straighten your right leg out. And hover the left knee. And back down. Exhale to hover. Inhale to tap. Two more times, pushing the chest away from the mat, drawing in through your center so much that the knee lifts. And one more time, drawing up. And now hold this position. We're going to travel the foot up and pull the knee in towards the chest. Lift the leg up and back down. Make sure the hips aren't hiking up towards the ceiling. 
as Jess Sim says, this is not a butt museum. The butt is not on display. <laughs> stretch here and press down into the heel to lift the hips up let yourself drape over your legs hold on to your elbows head falls down towards the shins for wherever you're at here it might be your knees or thighs it's okay and just shake yourself side to side allow your head to shake no nod your head yes your arms roll yourself up nice and slowly good give yourself a couple shoulder rolls awesome job thank you guys for joining I will have another class on Thursday and um, I will definitely have one I think a class on Thursday and then um, two on the weekend one on Saturday and one on Sunday they are both 45 minutes so if you enjoyed this class, please share it with your friends. You can share it to your story or whatever. Um, if you have any questions at all, just send me a message, comment on the video, and thanks so much.